Thank you. Tonight, the family of a woman found dead in Ogden Canyon is now feeling some closure. It's been more than a month since China Tolayo died, and now police have arrested the man they think killed her. Fox 13's Lauren Steinbrecher is at the Weber County Sheriff's Office where that man sits behind bars tonight. Mm -hmm. Lauren. Yeah, Kelly, and uh, we actually just learned some new details in this case. That probable cause statement just came out, and we're finding out that police believe China Toilolo was strangled to death. Now, this comes weeks after the family first suspected China's ex-boyfriend, and now today, police confirming that is who they've arrested. Five weeks of waiting, hoping for news in China's death. It's been a long uh waiting for this moment that we've been waiting for. That moment, finding out police arrested China's ex-boyfriend Andy Dennis on murder and obstruction of justice charges. The family says they already figured it out on their own, saying early on they found out Lopine China Toilolo visited Andy the night before Mother's Day when she disappeared, saying Andy kept changing his story. There's a lot of frustration as we waited for this, but the outcome that we waited for is finally here. Um, all I can say is that, um, uh, you know, my daughter did not deserve what happened to her. Investigators can't yet explain what they think happened, but Andy's neighbors have filled in the gaps. One neighbor told Fox 13 she and others heard Andy fighting with a woman, then saw a woman believed to be China getting into his car and leaving. This is after family says China texted her mom to say she was on her way home. Two days later, China's body was discovered in Ogden Canyon. Intense investigation. It's it's there's many different moving parts that come along with a case like this, um, th and we want to make sure that the evidence is strong. Part of that evidence, police believe, Andy interfered with two witnesses. That there was some um, tampering with some witnesses, trying to change stories and uh, things like that. Hence the obstruction of justice charges for a family who's been waiting and hoping. They finally have the answers they've been looking for. She's in a good place. Um, she's taken care of, and uh, this is what we're waiting for. It's just justice for her and uh, give us some closure as a family. Now, some of those other details we're learning from that probable cause statement tonight is that uh, police found surveillance video of Andy's car driving up Ogden Canyon. They also say in that probable cause statement that they believe uh, the two witnesses in this case are Andy's children who were home at the time before he left with China. And uh, that is what sparked those obstruction of justice charges. Live at the Weber County Sheriff's Office, Lauren Steinbrecher, Fox 13 News, Utah. Lauren, with new information tonight, thank you. If you or someone you know is experiencing domestic violence, there is help available. The Utah National Domestic Violence Hotlines are completely free and confidential. They're available 24-7. If you are in an emergency situation, call 911.